Section 17 of Drake by Alfred Noyes. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Cynthia Moyer. Book 11, Part 2. Suddenly, as the wild change of a dream, even as the Spaniards watched those lean, sharp prows leap straight at their huge hulks, watched well content, knowing their foes once grappled must be doomed, even as they caught the rush and hiss of foam across that narrow dwindling gleam of sea, and heard abruptly close the sharp commands and steady British answers caught one glimpse of bare-armed seamen waiting by their guns, the vision changed. The ships of England swerved swiftly, a volley of flame and thunder swept, blinding the buffeted air, a volley of iron from four sheer broadsides crashing through a hulk of Spain. She reeled, blind in the fiery surge and fury of that assault so swift it seemed that as she heeled to leeward ere her guns trained on the foe once more the sulphurous cloud that wrapped the sea once twice and thrice again split with red thunderclaps that rent and raked her huge beams through and through ay as she heeled to leeward still her own grim cannon belched their lava skyward wounding the void air and as by miracle the ships of drake were gone along the spanish rear they swept from north to south raking them as they went at close range hardly a pistol shot away with volley on volley never spain had seen seamen or marksmen like to these who sailed two knots against her one they came and went suddenly neared or sheared away at will as if by magic pouring flame and iron in four full broadsides through some spanish hulk ere one of hers burst blindly at the sky southward along the spanish rear they swept then swung about and volleying sheets of flame iron and death along the same fierce road littered with spars reeking with sulphurous fumes returned triumphantly rushing all their sails alow aloft full-bellied with the wind then then from sky to sky one mighty surge of baleful pride huge wrath stormy disdain with shuddering clouds and towers of sail would urge onward the heaving citadels of spain which dragged earth's thunders o'er the groaning main and held the panoplies of faith in fee beating against the wind struggling in vain to close with that swift ocean cavalry spain had all earth in charge had england then the sea spain had the mountains mountains flow like clouds spain had great kingdoms kingdoms melt away yet in that crescent army on army crowds how shall she fear what seas or winds can say the seas that leap and shine round earth's decay the winds that mount and sing while empires fall and mountains pass like waves in the wind's way and dying gods through shuddering twilights call had england then the sea that sweeps o'er one and all see in gigantic wrath the rata hurls her mighty prows round to the wild sea wind the deep like one black maelstrom round her swirls while great recalde follows hard behind reeling like titans thunder blasted blind they strive to cross the ships of england yea challenge them to the grapple 
and only find red broadsides bursting o'er the bursting spray and england surging still along her windward way to windward still revenge and raleigh flash and thunder and the sea flames red between in vain against the wind the galleons crash and plunge and pour blind volleys through the screen of rolling sulphurous clouds at dimly seen topsails that to and fro like sea-birds fly ever to leeward the great hulks careen their thousand cannon can but wound the sky while england's little rainbow foams and flashes by suddenly the flagship of recalde stung to fury it seemed heeled like an avalanche to leeward then reeled out beyond the rest against the wind alone daring the foe to grapple her at once the little revenge with drake's flag flying flashed at her throat and hardly a cable's length away out belched broadside on broadside under those great cannon crashing through five foot beams four shots to one while howard and the rest swept to and fro keeping at deadly bay the rolling hulks that looming like leviathans now plunged desperately against the freshening wind to rescue the great flagship where she lay alone amid the cannonades of drake alone like a volcanic island lashed with crimson hurricanes dinning the winds with isolated thunders flaking the skies with wrathful lava while great spars and blocks leapt through the cloudy glare and fell far off like small black stones into the hissing sea okendo saw her peril far away his rushing prow through heaven begins to loom okendo first in all that proud array hath heart the pride of spain to reassume he comes the rolling seas are dusked with gloom of his great sails now round him once again thrust out your oars ye mighty hulks of doom forward with hiss of whip and clank of chain let twice ten hundred slaves bring on the wrath of spain sidonia comes toledo comes huge ranks that rally against the storm from sky to sky as down the dark blood-rusted chain-locked planks of labouring galleys the dark slave-guards ply their knotted scourges and the red flakes fly from bare scarred backs that quiver and heave once more and slaves that heed not if they live or die pull with numb arms at many a red stained oar nor know the sea's dull crash from cannon's growing roar bring on the wrath from heaven to rushing heaven the white foam sweeps around their fierce array in vain before their shattering crimson leaven the ships of england flash and dart away not england's heart can hold that host at bay see a swift signal shoots along her line her ships are scattered they fly they fly like spray driven against the wind by wrath divine while round recalde now sidonia's cannon shine the wild sea winds with golden trumpets blaze one wave will wash away the crimson stain that blots recalde's decks her first amaze is over down the channel once again turns the triumphant pageantry of spain in battle order now behind her far while the broad sun sinks to the western main glitter the little ships of england's war and over them in heaven glides out the first white star the sun goes down the heart of spain is proud 
her censers fume her golden trumpets blow into the darkening east with cloud on cloud of broad-flung sail her huge sea castles go rich under blazoned poops like rose-flushed snow tosses the foam far off the sunset gleams her banners like a thousand sunsets glow as down the darkening east the pageant streams full fraught with doom for england rigged with princely dreams nay rigged with curses dark as o'er the waves drake watched them slowly sweeping into the gloom that thickened down the channel watched them go in ranks compact roundels impregnable with biscay's bristling broad-beamed squadron drawn behind for rear guard as the sun went down drake flew the council flag across the sea that gleamed still like a myriad petalled rose up to the little revenge the pinnaces foamed there on drake's powder-grimed escutcheoned poop they gathered admirals and great flag captains hawkins frobisher shining names and famous and some content to serve and follow and fight where duty called unknown but heroes all high on the poop they clustered gazing east with faces dark as iron against the flame of sunset eagle faces iron lips and keen eyes fiercely flashing as they turned like sword flames now or dark and deep as night watching the vast armada slowly mix its broad-flung sails with twilight where it dragged through thickening heavens its curdled storms of clouds down the wide darkening channel my lord howard said drake it seems we have but scarred the skins of those huge hulks the hour grows late for england twere well to handle them again at once a growl of fierce approval answered but lord howard cried out attack we cannot save at risk of our whole fleet it is not death i fear but england's peril we have fought all day accomplished nothing half our powder is spent i think it best to hang upon their flanks till we be reinforced my lord said drake had we that week to spare for which i prayed and were we handling them in spanish seas we might delay there is no choosing now yon hulks of doom are steadfastly resolved on one tremendous path and solid end to join their powers with parma's thirty thousand not heeding our light horsemen of the sea then in one earthquake of o'erwhelming arms roll europe over england they've not grasped the first poor thought which now and evermore must be the sceptre of britain the steel trident of ocean sovereignty that mighty fleet invincible impregnable omnipotent must here and now be shattered never be joined with parma never abase the wind-swept sea with oaken roads for thundering legions to trample in the splendour of the sun from europe to our island as for food in yonder enemy's fleet there is food enough to feed a nation ay and powder enough to split an empire i will answer for it ye shall not lack of either nor for shot not though ye pluck them out of your own beams to feed your hungry cannon cast your bread upon the waters think not of the queen she will not send it for she hath not known how could she know this wide new realm of hers when we ourselves her seamen scarce have learnt what means this kingdom of the ocean sea to england and her throne food life-blood life 
she could not understand who when our ships put out from plymouth hardly gave them store of powder and shot to last three fighting days or rations even for those blame not the queen who hath striven for england as no king hath fought since england was a nation bear with me for i must pour my heart before you now this one last time yon fishing boats have brought tidings on how this very day she rode before her mustard pikes at tilbury methinks i see her riding down their lines high on her milk-white barbary charger hear her voice my people though my flesh be woman my heart is of your kingly lion's breed i come myself to lead you i see the sun shining upon her armour hear the voice of all her armies roaring like one sea god save elizabeth our english queen god save her i say too but still she dreams as all too many of us bear with me dream of crecy when our england's war was thus when we too hurled our hosts across the deep as now spain dreams to hurl them on our isle but now our war is otherwise we claim the sea's command and spain shall never land one swordsman on our island blame her not but look not to the queen the people fight this war of ours not princes in this hour god maketh us a people we have seen victories never victory like to this when in our england's darkest hour of need her seamen without wage powder or food are yet on fire to fight for her your ships tossing in the great sunset of an empire dawn of a sovereign people are all manned by heroes ragged hungry who will die like flies ere long because they have no food but turns to fever breeding carrion not fit for dogs they are half naked hopeless living of any reward and if they die they die a dog's death we shall reap the fame while they great god and all this cannot quench the glory in their eyes they will be served six at the mess of four eking it out with what their own rude nets may catch by night silvering the guns and naked arms that haul under the stars with silver past all price while some small ship boy in the black crow's nest watches across the waters for the foe my lord it is a terrible thing for spain when poor men thus go out against her princes for so god whispers victory in our ears i cannot dare to doubt it once again a growl of fierce approval answered him and hawkins cried i stand by francis drake but howard clinging to his old world order yet with such manly strength as dared to rank drake's wisdom of the sea above his own sturdily shook his head i dare not risk a close attack once grappled we are doomed we'll follow on their trail no less with drake leading our oriflamme to-night shall be his cresset and stern lanthorn where that shines we follow drake still thinking in his heart and if spain be not shattered here and now we are doomed no less must even rest content with that good vantage as the sunset died over the darkling emerald seas that swelled before the freshening wind the pinnaces dashed to their own ships and into the mind of drake there stole a plot that twitched his lips to a smile high on the heaving purple of the poop under the glimmer of firm and full-blown sails he stood 
an iron statue glancing back anon at his stern cresset's crimson flare the star of all the shadowy ships that plunged like ghosts amid the grey stream of his wake and all around him heard the low keen song of hidden ropes above the wail and creak of blocks and long low swish of cloven foam a keen rope music in the formless night a harmony a strong intent good sound well strung and taught singing the will of man your oriflamme he muttered so you travail with sea speech in the tongue of old poitiers shall be my own stern lanthorn watch it well my good lord howard over the surging seas the little revenge went swooping on the trail leading the ships of england one by one out of the gloom before them slowly crept sinister gleam by gleam like blood-red stars the rearmost lanterns of the spanish fleet a shaggy purple sky of secret storm heaving from north to south upon the black breast of the waters once again with lips twitched to a smile drake suddenly bade them crowd all sail upon the little revenge she leapt forward smiling he watched the widening gap between the ships that followed and her light then as to those behind its flicker must seem well-nigh confused with those of spain he cried now master boatswain quench their oriflamme dip their damned cresset in the good black sea the rearmost light of spain shall lead them now a little closer if they think it ours pray god they come to blows even as he spake his cresset flare went out in the thick night a fluttering as of blind bewildered moths a moment seized upon the shadowy ships behind him then with crowded sail they steered straight for the rearmost cresset flare of spain End of Book 11